In Pads Logic 9.4, you can now change the part type for multiple selected parts or gates. This is available from the Part Properties and the Part Type Label Properties dialogs. The Change Type button is no longer greyed out for multi selection. The Change Part Type dialog was modified to allow selected gates and selected parts options in the Apply Update To group box. Advanced ODB++ Export Options now supports the viewing of the generated ODB++ database immediately after it has been created. What's more important is that this allows you to compare the generated ODB++ database with your CAM files and assure proper quality before going to manufacturing. To fully use the CAM compare feature, you do need to generate the CAM files before exporting the ODB++ file. Once loaded, the CAM data is compared to the ODB++ file and any differences are highlighted in a traffic light system in red. A synchronize button in the viewer will find and zoom to the error in PADS layout. The error can then be checked and fixed before sending to manufacture. Two D line snapping in PADS 9.4 while creating or modifying drafting shapes in PADS layout, you can now snap the cursor to selected types of points of drafting objects. Different types of points are recognized, including corners, midpoints, centers of arcs and circles, intersections of lines and circle quadrants, component origin, pin and via. You can turn individual snapping to each type of point on or off in the options dialog box. Some other commands in PADS layout like quick measure and set origin commands, are also enhanced to support this cursor snapping. Snapping also works while adding or moving components and vias. PADS 9.4 also adds support for new line styles in 2D line drafting objects in PADS layout. You can set the style of a 2D line to one of five predefined styles. PADS native libraries also support all new line styles. PADS 9.4 now supports creating associated nets, assigning rules to them and having PADS Router HSD or PADS Auto Router HSD root to those rules. Associated nets allow one design rule to be assigned over several nets that are connected by components such as a series resistor or a resistor pack. Design rules that can be set include length and differential pair rules. Associated nets may be defined automatically through a number of different methods or manually. The length of the discrete component that associates or combines these nets can be included in the associated net length calculation. The associated net feature is tied to the advanced rule set option in PADS. Follow route is a new feature of PADS router. In this mode you can select some other trace, copper, board outline or trace keepout to follow or hug. The selected shape becomes sticky and the trace being created stays as close to this shape as is allowed by the clearance rules defined in the design. Advanced Licensing Mechanism PADS Layout, Logic and Router now offer a better way to handle a mixed licensing environment. Currently it is very easy to consume two composite licenses. The new licensing mechanism allows selecting which suite license to check out and will not consume any additional suite licenses. DFM Analysis, powered by the Valor DFM Analysis Solution, is a new cost option in PADS 9.4 that helps identify manufacturing issues in PCB design before going to fabrication and assembly with your board. The DFM is available in PADS layout via the tools menu, DFM Analysis. This new feature allows DFM analysis to be completed earlier than ever on your design, identifies issues that could cause respins due to manufacturing issues, and allows the error to be corrected in the PCB database by the designer and not in manufacturing. Analyzing the board from a manufacturing perspective at the design stage allows you to significantly reduce the cost and overall time from engineering to final build. For more information and a demonstration, please visit the mentor.com website.